Today we have a quick explanation of something called EXIF data. So EXIF data is a type of additional data included with many photo files. It's not the image itself, but rather information about the image. It contains details like when and where a photo was originally taken, uh, what camera settings were used to take that photo, and so on. Uh, many programs that display and organize photos will let you view this EXIF data, and it's useful in lots of different ways. Um, for example, this is how some software will let you sort all of your photos by things like the date taken or the kind of camera used. So let's take a look. Here I'm using Preview on a Mac, and I've clicked to see the information about the image I've opened. Since we're talking about EXIF data, I have the EXIF tab selected. Exactly which pieces of EXIF data are included in an image uh, really just depends on the camera you took the photo with. But uh, you'll commonly see information like what you see here, the date and time the photo was taken, maybe the camera settings used to take the photo, uh, maybe information like this about the lens that was used. If your camera has a GPS sensor, uh, the EXIF data can also include a location tag, which will tell you where the photo was taken. This is useful for software sites that place your photos on a map. This is also something that has caused privacy concerns among some people doing photo sharing, especially with things like photos of their children being linked to a specific location. Finally, we have some extra credit for you. Ever wondered why it's called EXIF data? Well, we looked it up. Turns out the EXIF part in the name comes from exchangeable image file format which is the name of a formatting standard for images, sounds, and the data attached to them. If you want a more general term for this attached data about your images, you can use the term metadata. Um, that said, many people will still use the term EXIF data even when they mean the more general term. So now that you know what it is and where to find it, have a look. You might be surprised at how much extra information is included with the photos that you've taken. Thanks for coming to class.